All right, welcome back. I hope you're having a good day. It's my willow leaf ficus here. Uh, it's got several. This is one of the only trees that I know of. Uh, in mid-November, I cut it back hard, put this wire on there. I did the video on that. I'll put it in the playlist and probably put the link to, to it in the description and everything too. And that was just about five months ago, a little longer than five months ago. And today I'm going to go ahead and take all the wire off. I'm also going to go ahead and take this top off as a cutting. At one point, I was trying to let that run and get some movement in there. I let it actually get, I probably let this thing probably get four feet tall or something like that. And since I've kind of, you know, since I chopped it and tried to use it as an apex here or whatever, it just left this big bare spot here. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut it right about in here, take it as a cutting. And then everything else, I'm just going to prune back really hard today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this wire off. All right, and so the wire's off there, and when I go to watch this video, I might have to see if my imagination is playing tricks on me or whatever, but it already seems like it's pointing up, like ficus do, just from having the wire taken off of it. I did mean to mention, uh, before I did start taking the wire off there, I did mean to mention that when I wired this guy up in November, it really kind of did nothing for a little while, but then it put out a bunch of fruit, and then in, in like February or so, it like really had a really nice little growth, growth spurt. It looked really good, good for a while. Stopped and it put out a bunch of fruit. You're going to get a closer look here in a minute because I'm going to work on the apex a little bit closer. Then, But it did kind of stop growing. And let's see if I can get you guys to kind of see here. Right there. You can just see when the, when the willow leaf starts getting some new buds they come out kind of red and I just noticed just the other day that it's got all kinds of little buds in here coming out red and since it is going through a growth spurt now I knew that that wire had been on there long enough I really couldn't afford to leave it on there much longer so I figured I'd take the wire off today and do that hard prune back and then also take this apex off once I get up here in the apex you're going to see that, uh, that it does not have as many growing tips up here as it does down here because I have been cutting that back because it is a very apically dominant plant to where it kind of puts a lot of the energy up there. Kind of hate to lose the whole thing because it did have some decent movement, but again, there's like zero taper from there to there and it just leaves a little gap in there. And even when I go to chop it now, it's still going to leave another gap in there or whatever because I imagine it'll just shoot up again. But now I can kind of use it, now that I know how that's going to act, I can kind of use it to kind of build some movement and taper in there and everything. And just keep a little more of a compact tree too, so we'll see what happens there. All right, so I'm going to get prepared to take this as a cutting. One of the things, when this thing does get its fruit, is it does seem to push out of the apex more too. All the fruit off which I'm basically doing now. And that's what I got there. Like about 10 of them or something like that. Pretty sure a couple of these have been fertilized at some point. But for the most part, it seems like most of these just dry up and die off or whatever. We do have, I guess now, the wasp that fertilize these things, but I guess it can be different for also every, uh, every type of ficus too. So, is I'm gonna take off pretty much every leaf. These are, uh, you know, really small leaves, but I'm going to take every one of them off and you're not going to be able to see the growing tips all that well on this one. Some of them are just budding out because I have been pruning this, but I'm going to take off at least 90% of the leaves just so that the plant doesn't need water as I take the cutting today. If I was looking, if I was looking to, uh, you know, just prune it, I probably would have cut all those off or whatever. But I do want to. I did want to try to leave. There's another good strong one there. I did want to try, try to leave as much of that as possible. And then, let's see. Maybe we can get a better look on this side here. Yeah, I had, I had pruned this right here several times. I mean, you can even see where it was even up higher there. And I've been trying to come back down with it a little bit. 
but I did decide that that has a, a like a huge and so before I take the cutting I'm going to go ahead and just cut it down to there as well and that again will just kind of lessen the uh, the load on it this is actually a good this would be a good candidate for an air layer but I just uh, you know quite honestly I don't really have the patience for it right now and I just don't feel like air layering it I have another one going but what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of combine some of the air layering, you know, like reasons why that's kind of a better way to take a, a cutting. And I'm going to kind of combine those a little bit in that I'm going to try to, I'm going to cut the uh, bark off here down to the, uh, or down through the cambium level like you would for taking an air layer. But then what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to take some slits in the bark and peel it up and then take the cutting like right about here and use the size of that bark not only to hold it level but also just to try to get an, an initial spread with it to begin with it is the you know the best time of the year I think for me for taking cuttings of any sort here in Florida I'm trying to just pick a good spot here I don't want it to be too tall too short I want this I would like to keep that branch I don't really want it right in the dirt or anything I'm gonna go right about in here. Alright, so that's a ring pretty much around the edge there. I'm going to take a few strips and just cut up three strips down the bark. One there and one there. I did do something kind of similar to this on a Patrice and both of those I've never, I have not had a chance to repot yet. To just you know see how it worked or whatever but I actually did it I took the cutting first and then what I did is I cut into the to the wood and everything the idea is here is I want to peel this bark up and then I want to take the cutting of the wood just here and not have all that the heartwood in there if you will or whatever when I go to get the uh, cutting hormone on there now, if this technique works and I'll let you guys I'll let you guys know whenever I update it but then that's the idea there, is that I'll, when I when I put the cutting in, I'll have it like that. I'll dip this in rooting hormone, and that's basically the layer between the bark and the cambium, or I, or should I say the uh, the bark and the heartwood. That is what pushes the roots, and not only should that have more material, but it'll kind of help it also build on the barring. But now I'm going to do this, and then it won't have such the protruding part down there. It'll just have, you know, if I can use that bark there as well, just to kind of keep it steady in there. Alright, and we'll see what happens with that. Here's that spot sticking up there. Might as well go ahead and cut that off now. Regrow the apex, regrow the entire thing, make it a little more. I think this brings it back into scale a little bit. And then I might just go ahead and throw you some uh, some pictures here of when I've repotted it before. I've, I've only repotted it once. It's been, I think, in this one. Well, it was in, I actually repotted it in the same pot. I just kind of pulled it up quite a bit or whatever. I'll try to show you those pictures now or whatever. I think I'll see how this reacts to this. And I may repot it this summer. If it re reacts really strongly, I think I will. 
if it just kind of comes back a little weak or anything like that, I think I'll just give it a chance to uh, recover a little bit longer. But now let's go ahead and address these scars here. First one I'll look at here, this is actually the one cutting that I have. I have a playlist for Willow Leaf, and in that playlist I have the cutting, and that's actually where the cutting came from. I'm going to go ahead and just try to go a little bit deeper, especially right there in the middle. This will probably wind up being a hollow. I don't think that thing will ever really fully heal itself out. I think it's a little bit too big for that. But we'll see. I'm just going to take a little bit of that wood out of there and try to open up the edges around it a little bit, get some rollover going. All right, I went a little deeper than I have been able to. I think I think I finally, just because I finally have a decent enough Dremel bit for it. The Dremel I'd like to go ahead and I usually just take my knife and kind of go around the sides here. Alright I know I had to cut a bunch of that out so I had to stand in front of the camera there for a minute but dug a bunch of the middle wood out of there with the Dremel and then just kind of roughed up the edges a little bit with a knife. All right, and this other one this is actually part of the reason why I always had this, or why I was letting this apex run for a bit. So I was hoping it would just pull up enough bark to kind of surround that. Well, let me get some of that out of there first. All right, and then rough this edge up with the knife a bit. And the lower one will definitely turn into a hollow. This one I'd like to think that with this branch coming off this way and this thing being kind of apically dominant will eventually heal that up, but I guess nothing will tell us, but time will. Mm -hmm. 